of our escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Well, it's our day two here at the show. Um, we've just arrived, or I've just arrived at the NEC. Uh, fortunately, Claire's got to stay at home today because uh, we've got heating engineers coming, that sort of stuff, so it's just me today. Um, so let's go in, let's see what today brings. One of the advantages about having media accreditation is you can actually get into the show before it opens. Um, as you can see, all that's in here really at the minute is staff. And it's great really to be able to have a wander around, see what's going on, maybe even get inside the vans, that sort of stuff before it gets really, really busy. I enjoy it just kind of wandering around, getting a layout for the land planning the day out, that sort of stuff. But it all seems really calm here at the minute. But that will soon change, I can pretty much guarantee. So we're in hall three at the moment, so this is where all the motorhomes, camper vans, or majority of the motorhomes, camper vans are. If you are coming down to the show at all, it's worth checking out what's on at the Inspirations Theatre. There's an Inspirations Theatre at every show, um, and there's various different talks from uh, other vloggers, other experts, that sort of stuff, advice, trips, that sort of stuff. Certainly worth looking at who the um, presenters are, or who the people are going to be on the stand are, and uh, if there's anything of interest, come and check it out. While we've got the opportunity to look round before the general public come in, this is a view from Hall 2 down into Hall 1, where you can see a good mix of motorhomes, camper vans, caravans, that sort of stuff. And this is just one of the halls, there's, uh, there's at least four more. It's one of those things, if you've got your uh, van or motorhome in this hall, you certainly need to make sure the roof's clean. We're just down by the entrance to Hall 1. Uh, people are queuing and ready to come in. You can see there's quite a crowd there this side as well. You can see them all the way back there. So there's plenty of people waiting to come in. So let's stand here, give it a minute and see what happens. So any second now. You get stamping. Here we go. And they're letting them in. There's a mad rush. Stand back here so I don't get trampled. So this is day three, this is the Thursday. <laughs> so that's it, day three of the caravan show, and just walking in, a couple of our subscribers. <laughs> Sorry, your names are? Chris. Chris. Naz. Chris and Maz, Chris and Maz, thank you very much for being You're a subscriber. Welcome. Very, very much appreciated. Um, you here for anything in particular or just have a look round? Just have a general look round. Just a general look round, see yeah. what's what. So, yeah. uh, no, that's great. Lovely to meet you both. And okay. you. Chatting, uh, just been stood there chatting. It is, what's the time now? It is nearly 25 past 10. And as you can see, there's still a real steady stream of people coming in. Just come back to the Inspiration Theatre and just to give you kind of an idea of the sort of thing that goes on. Uh, there's a talk going on at the moment about crossing Croatia with a caravan. Anyone's got any questions as to why I would tow a caravan through the market or why I would even attempt such a trip? So if anyone's got a question, please feel free to raise your hand and I think someone should be coming around. And you can see these presentations are pretty well attended. Hi, I'm just back at the... Uh, specialized cover stand and as you know and as i've mentioned previously we do have the tow pro infinity elite on trial um, and this is the tow pro infinity um, the tow pro infinity is made out of a slightly different material uh, than the elite this is the storm shield plus material it's a thinner more lightweight material it's more of a, um, a canvas style material than the um, thick rubberized protection that we have on the um, Elite. As you know, we've already got the standard uh, Elite, but we're trialing the Tow Pro Infinity Elite. Now, if we go through some of the features, very much or very similar to the uh, standard sort of Tow Pro covers, the difference is it goes all the way up to the top there. 
um, it basically protects that top window uh, it gives you that extra protection and you know that is it's not an issue but obviously it's slightly more complex to fit because you have to go that little bit higher you still have access to the front locker um, with the zips down here I don't know whether you can see these so you've got the, the velcro and the zips which you would all do all the way uh, and then you can get into your front locker you've got the clips down here as well just try and get onto that so we've got the uh, plastic clips there which kind of clip underneath they're on a bit of an elastic and they just clip underneath the front edge so we'll zip that down again there um, you have access to the handles just like you would before so there's the handles there but you don't the compromise is oh, let me just kind of stand here a little bit the compromise is is that with the standard elite you have access to the front window so you can fold that down because the height this goes to you can't get there so you can't drop the front down uh, and you do need the caravan step you do need the caravan step you know as you can see these are quite high those straps at the top but we've managed with the uh, the caravan step the other thing i was thinking about that you probably could do you could probably raise the front legs lower the jockey wheel and just bring the front of the caravan down a little bit which will help you get access to that and i suppose as a buyer of one of these covers you need to decide yourself whether you're prepared to make that compromise of not having access to the front window for us i think and i've been thinking about this a lot i do like the extra protection and i like the extra protection that the elite gives us with that thicker material um, but this, you know the standard one with this material will do just as well probably easy to clean our one but you know i'm not sure about that but that's the cover there I'm guessing with this one you might be able to fit it yourself but I think because it goes so high it is handy just having somebody feed it in at the bottom while you take it up to the top. But that's the Toad Pro Infinity. Um, basically if you look at the information board there you get increased protection, you still get access to the locker box, scratch and stone chip protection and it's a waterproof and breathable material. But I'll put a link to this in the comments below. <laughs> and that is the Toe Pro Infinity Cover. These are new to the market. I'll find out what the pricing structure is and let you know. For the standard Toe Pro Infinity is 349, so that's 349 for a full cover. And for the Infinity Elite, which is the one that we've got on trial at the moment, it's 399. Um, you might think that that's expensive for a towing cover but i guess for us you know when you're spending 25 30 000 pound for a caravan um, it's a price worth spending um, i think the average cost of a replacement front window is something around about the sort of 800 pound mark um, but if you want to ask me any questions as i say please leave something in the comments below we are trialing the tow pro infinity elite um, and we have been using a Topro Infinity, sorry, a Topro Elite for um, about three years now. So happy to answer any questions you may have. So that was a quick rundown on the Specialized Covers Topro Infinity. So while we're here with Specialized Covers, why don't we take a look at this full roof cover that goes all the way up over the top of the van and then down the back. Um, first thing to say is it comes in three colours so you've got the three colours here so you've kind of got the green the navy and the uh, the beige grey um, each cover is specific to the caravan um, so it is specific to each caravan they are custom made um, turnaround is about two weeks uh, cost is 399 um, you still get access to the front cover um, they can put in allowances for the likes of aircon obviously aerial standard uh, solar panels if you want your solar panel to be exposed uh, while the cover on so you're still charging what they do is they put a section in the roof this is just a kind of a sample section but they put a sample section in the roof 
um, which is like this Perspex so that you can still see your, or you can still charge from your solar panel. Uh, as I said, as I mentioned, allowances on the top for things like air conditioning and that sort of stuff, but they can also offer you an allowance um, for bike racks. So you can get it to accommodate the fact that you've got the bike rack on the back there. Um, I don't know whether I've mentioned it, but one thing you can't tow with these on, so they're designed for storage only. Um, and I guess it's there if you don't want to fully encase the caravan and that sort of stuff. It is just purely for when you're in storage, really to keep that kind of top end, the front, that sort of stuff clean, nice and clean and fresh. Um, there is an additional A-frame cover. So if you wanted to add in the A-frame cover, you could do. Uh, main pointers are, it is custom to each caravan. Um, they will do allowance, as I say, for the various different roof furniture that you've got fitted on there. Um, they are custom order for each caravan with about a sort of two week turnaround and the price is 399. So again, I'll put the link to specialized covers down below and you can take a look at that. Just to give you an idea how popular the Inspiration uh, Theatre so, yeah, can be. I, I think that was really a good surprise for us, was how many really beautiful places there are. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you've gone to so many on this list. Do you think there's still more that you're yet to see? But that's because Paul like Merton and his sport. wife are on. Yeah, um, yeah, and they've done a TV show about the using their kind of motorhome around the UK. They've only been doing it for the last, well, for a year or so, I think. Um, so I wouldn't say they're seasoned experts, but they're obviously just sharing their experience. But I guess it's the celebrities that, uh, that make the draw. I probably mentioned this before, but one tip I can give you, uh, if you are going to be here for a day, bring a packed lunch with you. Uh, food here invariably is expensive. Um, and from, from previous experience, the quality is pretty poor. Um, second problem you have is actually finding somewhere to sit and eat your packed lunch. Uh, maybe try and have it early or later on. If you look, I'm just in one of the rest areas at the minute. And kind of this is it here. It's the time at the moment is five to one. And you can see absolutely rammed people everywhere even people sat down on the floor leaning against caravans so bring a packed lunch and a portable store whether you love them or you hate them uh, there are several LED lighting stands here in the NEC uh, all sorts of shapes and sizes of LED poles whether it's an LED pole you want, whether it's under cupboard lighting, that sort of stuff. If you're into your LEDs on your caravan or your motorhome, you'll certainly be able to get it sorted here. If you're thinking of travelling in Europe at all at any time, I can highly recommend the uh, Axi membership. We've had it for several years now. Uh, it's not expensive. Uh, it's a card that gets you discount off season, but there's a whole catalogue of sites right across Europe um, they're all in and out. We would travel around in France, uh, get so far, look on the app, see what was close to us, click on the actual site, it would phone it up for you, you talk to them, get a pitch, press the button again, and it would give you directions straight to the site. So if you are thinking of travelling around in Europe, I can highly recommend getting yourself an Axiom card. To give you a comparison to an earlier shot we did, this is Hall 5. We showed you hall one before and it's about it's just gone one o'clock in the afternoon and this is obviously full of people wandering around again love them or hate them Karaka here as they always are with their various different range of um, cooking devices, I don't think you can really call them barbecues can you, so the various different ranges of cooking devices plus all their accessories, they are selling them from the stand, uh, so if you do need a complete system or a few extra bits then Kadak are here for you. So there are quite a few accessory stands here at the NEC in February. 
Um, and literally, you can pick up bargains on all sorts of things. So you've got, you know, the toilet paper, your cleaning fluids, uh, Cadax spares, you know, all the typical sort of things that you'd expect in an accessory shop. You know, even kind of safe fill bottles and that sort of stuff. all those sorts of things. So that's just one example of the type of accessory stores here at the NEC. So we've got another accessory store here again selling the same sort of thing various different versions and other various bits and bobs. Uh, we'll have a quick wander through so all your kind of kitchen style stuff that sort of thing. Even some sort of pop-up awnings and pop-up tents, aqua domes. Um, really, the sort of thing you would find in any caravan accessory shop. And there are numerous stalls here, um, and I'm sure you can get various deals on things that you would normally buy. Um, you've got Maypole Leisure over there, so you've got the Maypole um, with their various caravan covers, things like that. Again, all the Maypole different bits, the caravan covers, all their accessories, their electrical accessories, that sort of thing. So there's also the Bruner stand here, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, we've already got one of their tables. Uh, we do like the tables, quite sturdy, compact down, quite small, but they have their, you know, all sorts of range of products from your brushes, extendable hoses. Uh, we also have their plates, uh, bowls, mugs, that sort of thing. They do all the camping chairs. I'll give you a quick walk around their stand if you are going to be heading this way. Various chocks, those sorts of things. Again, all the sort of bits you would normally expect to get from Bruno. So we've already got their table and one or two other bits. So if you are coming this way, definitely worth checking out. I'll probably remind you guys about this every time, but one thing to remember when you're at the caravan shows here at the NEC, they do offer a free drop and shop service. It's normally located in one of the stalls or one of the halls. You can see the shop and drop sign there and there is the shop and drop kiosk. And basically the idea of that is as you're buying the stuff as you're walking around, rather than carrying it around with you all day, bring it over to the shop and drop. These guys will take it from you. They'll give you a ticket and you can come back before the end of the show and take it away. There you go, see, they're always happy to see you over at the shop and drop at the NEC shows. Thanks guys. Oh, come on, like they want further. What are, drop, what are you dropping in? Well, no, no, I'm not dropping anything, Kim. But what I was doing was telling the guys here what a great service you guys do. So whenever you come to the shows, rather than carrying those bags around with you all day, it's a free nice. service. You bring your bags over here, give it to you guys, you give them a ticket, leave it with them, come back before the end of the day. We do like a smile. They do like a smile. In fact, look, here's a prime example. So here's a lady. She's just been and bought. Oh no, she's collecting. Oh no, she's dropping off. Yeah, I'm dropping off, and I'm. We've got about five uh, things here that we have yes. dropped off. Can you confirm you're not an actress and you're not being paid for this? You're not being paid for this. Good. And it is a free service. Yes, yes. It's, it's a free, free service. service, and it's very it's good because so you don't have to yeah. carry yeah. everything yeah. around with you, yeah. which is delightful. Yeah. And they're very friendly and yeah. fun. They it's are. A fun experience. Yeah, they, they're all very friendly. So it's a, it is a great service. I've told you guys about this before. Shop and drop. It's Internet hall. Everywhere. What hall are we in here? Everywhere. We're in hall five now. But depending whether it's the October show or the February show, it could be in a different oh, yeah. hall at some point. But it's definitely worth using. Drop your bags in, save carrying them around, come back and get them before the end of the day. Another one worth checking out that do seem to be becoming more and more popular is the My Rider electric folding bikes. Um, if you are at the show, well worth kind of checking them out. But take a look on the internet as well. These are really kind of lightweight, quite funky, quite versatile um, bikes, basically incorporating style with usability. 
Um, so that's the My Rider. If you are about, come and check them out, see what you think. So, if boats are your thing, there are boats here at the show as well. So it's not just only caravans, motorhomes, camper vans, that sort of stuff. There are a range of boats, from these uh, larger boats to the smaller kayak-style boats, that sort of stuff. So there are various boats around at the show. More boats for you. Even a little camping pod, inflatable camping pod to sit on top of your small rib. So that fits on top of your boat. Be biased on the electric bike front. They also have the, uh, the Whisper electric bicycles here, full range of bikes. So there's plenty on the electric bike front to uh, to let you have a look. So I've just been chatting to the guys here at Whisper. Uh, we've exchanged details and hopefully what we'll do in a future date is we'll do some reviews. These guys have said I can go down to their place, have a look around, try the bikes, that sort of stuff. So keep an eye out for that. Separate vlog on the Whisper bikes will be along at some point soon. Don't another axe. So another accessory set up for you, this is PJ Outdoor, quite a large one, again so they've got all those bits that typically you look to from your campers, your folding chairs, all your accessories, your tables, that sort of stuff. So Truma are here as they always are with their full <laughs> range of products from the aircon units to the uh, heaters to the boilers the Ina X, that sort of stuff, and over here they've got the power touch movers. Um, so if you are interested in anything Truma or power touch, go and have a chat with these guys. Well, I have to say I've taken advantage again of the uh, Camping Caravanning uh, Club's members area. Um, there we are. I've been wandering around, coming towards the end of our second day here. A uh, little bit worn out, a little bit bushwhacked, I don't mind telling you. So it was great to be able to just kind of wander in there, wait for a seat, sit down and grab a free drink, uh, tea, coffee and juice. It's average drinks, but, you know, who cares? It's somewhere to stop that's free and you don't pay the stupid prices you do at the show. Uh, and what's really nice about the area as well is that they've got these kind of triangle tables. Um, and so they encourage you to sit with other people and every time I've sat down, you know, we've got chatting to other people, why they're there, what they're up to, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, nice little thing. So if you're a member of the Camping Caravanning Club uh, and you're over at the NEC, worth stopping by. Stand we've come to, or sorry, just wandering around the show, we've come to the Milenko stand. Um, we have quite a few Milenko products. So pretty much everything kind of Milenko here. So, you know, we're already using the Wraith. Um, the different styles of wheel locks they've got here. Um, you've got the, oh, what do you call them, steady locks. So you've got the different types of steady locks, various different locks and handles, wheel locks, wheel clamps, hitch clamps. Stacker packs, stacker jacks, we use the stacker jacks. Um, universal covers for your motorhomes. And obviously the Malenko mirrors, we've got the aero. We use the aero, you've got the yeah, ramps as well, all the sort of towing mirrors, towing mirror protectors. So pretty much everything Milenko here. We've got the Grand Aeros. Oh, there's a new Grand Aero Platinum mirrors for maximum view. Um, so there's a new set on here as well. But good range of Milenko products if you're interested so wonder by and check them out also want to say hi to those subscribers I've met today sorry I can't remember all of your names but if you did come by get a sticker off me say hi it was very very much appreciated um, so if any of you subscribers see me Saturday please don't hesitate to come and stop me and I'd love to have a good chat 
So I think that's enough for us for today. Uh, it's the end of our second day. Uh, it's tiring walking around, seeing everything else, but it's been an interesting day. Uh, I've had a good chat with some of the exhibitors here today, and interestingly enough, I wouldn't say they're struggling, but they're finding the show, uh, certainly this show, quite slow, uh, maybe not expected. Um, you know, they're not doing as many sales as they expected. The show's very, very busy. There's lots of people here. I'm guessing what it is is maybe there's not that kind of spare money to be spending. Um, one of the things that was suggested, which I thought was quite interesting, uh, one of the exhibitors, or a few of the exhibitors, actually suggested to me that what they'd like to see is the February show cancelled um, and a bigger show in October. And what they mean by that is maybe the show being on for 10 days, that sort of stuff. So you've got two weekends of the show uh, and just focusing everything on that October show. So it's an interesting concept. Let me know what you think below. But I'm going to wander back. Uh, got to pick something up on the way home. Try and get this vlog edited and put out tonight. I might put it into two parts. I'm not sure. Let's see how that goes. But like always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you on the next one. We're back here Saturday. Bye for now.